measures of time. In this module, you will learn about measures of time. Let us see our activities from morning to evening. We fix certain timing from morning to evening, going to school, studying, playing, sleeping, etc. How do you manage all this with time? Using clock, right? In olden days, our ancestors used many different clock instruments to find time. Egyptians used shadow clock. Britishers used candle clock. Chinese used rope clock. Europeans used oil clock. And Indians used water clock. Sand clock was used by many other countries. Seconds, minute, hours, day, week, month and year are the units of time. Second is the SI base unit of time. Let us see units in its base form. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. One hour is equal to 60 minutes, which is 60 into 60. That is 3600 seconds. One day equals to 24 hour. That is 1000 440 minutes, which are 86,400 seconds. Now, 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So, 1 second is equal to 1 upon 60 minute. Also, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. So, 1 minute is equal to 1 upon 60 hour. Let us see an example which converts seconds into minutes. Convert 240 seconds into minutes. Now, 240 seconds is equal to 240 into 1 upon 60, which is 240 upon 60. That is equal to 4 minutes. Since 60 seconds equals to 1 minute, 1 second equals to 1 upon 6 minute, 240 seconds equals to 4 minutes. Now let us see how to convert hours into seconds. Convert 4 hour 30 minutes, 15 seconds into seconds. Solution 1 hour equals to 3600 seconds. Therefore, 4 hours equals to 4 into 3600 equals to 14,400 seconds. Now, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, 30 minutes is equal to 30 into 60, which are equal to 1,800 seconds. Therefore, 4 hour 30 minutes, 15 seconds, is 14,400 plus 1,800 plus 15, which are 16,215 seconds. See the following table. Have you seen a table like this anywhere? It's a railway timetable. Observe the timing given in the table. How many hours are there in a day? 24 hours. Yes. We generally call 24-hour clock time as railway time. Railway timings are not expressed in AM and PM. All the timings are expressed as just hours. The departure time and arrival time of some trains are more than 12 hours. Now to convert these hours into ordinary timing, we should subtract 12 from the hours column. Let us see how to convert it to a railway timing. Let us see one by one. First, 8 a.m. equals to 8 hours. Second, 10.30 p.m. equals to 10.30 plus 12, which is equal to 22.30 hours. 
and third, 12 noon is equals to 12 hours. Now, convert these timings to ordinary timings. 21 10 hours equals to 21 10 minus 12, which is equals to 9 10 pm. 24 hours is equal to 24 equals to 12 midnight. 430 hours equals to 430 a.m. Find the duration time from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now 5 p.m. equals to 5 hours 0 minutes plus 12 hours equals to 17 hours 0 minute which is equals to 17 hours. Therefore, duration of time equals to 5 p.m. minus 5 a.m. which is equals to 17 hours minus 5 hours which is 12 hours. A boy went to school at 8 a.m. After school, he went to tuition classes and came back home at 5 p.m. Find the duration of time he was out of his house. Solution Starting time from house is 8 a.m. Duration between starting time and 12 noon is 12 minus 8 equal to 4 hours. Reached back home at 5 p.m. Therefore, duration he was outside his house is 4 plus 5 that is 9 hours. We know that the earth takes one year to make one complete revolution around the sun. That is 365 days in a year. But the fact is, earth takes 365.25 days to make one revolution. So this extra 0 0.25 days is added in February, once in four years. Such a year is known as leap year. A year which is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year. But the years which are multiples of 100 should be exactly divisible by 400 to be a leap year. Example, the years 1900, 1800, 1700, 1500 are not a leap year because these numbers leave remainders when we divide by 400, whereas 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400 are all leap year, as they leave no remainder when divided by 400. Let us see an example. Divide 1200 by 400. 1200 divided by 400, quotient 3, remainder, Zero. Therefore, 1200 is a leap year. Divide 1991 by 4. 1991 divided by 4, quotient 497. Remainder, 3. Therefore, 1991 is not a leap year. Let us summarize all that we learned in this module on measures of time.